cuties and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna look at uh, the grand finale of the night of wonder with disney and uh i mean who else would lead uh, this night other than morissette and she will lead this night with christian bautista and uh it is a seven minute long full performance that i am so excited about so let's go if you are interested in everything singing and music related then please don't forget to subscribe we are slowly nearing 400 000 subscribers so if you're gonna help me i will really appreciate it and now without any further ado a night of wonder with disney and morissette and christian bassista let's go i genuinely hope that you are just as excited as i am because Beauty and the Beast. Really good for Zetto. Okay, I did not expect them to be so cute. <laughs> Look at them, they're adorable. Morissette said looks absolutely stunning. His a little um his little falsetto, really nice. I cannot praise them enough. I mean Filipino singers. I always will and I always do for their dynamics in the voice they know how to work with that they mastered that craft oh that's gorgeous okay a little jump right there da -da -da. from the bass tone up to the head voice or in this case in falsetto Listen how Morissette works with those vowels. So anytime she gets any like opportunity to open the vowel a little bit more, even if it would get her a little bit more twang, she does not hesitate. She takes it because her voice is huge and resonant and she does everything to just make sure that that is in the forefront of her singing. <laughs> He was in a very pretty mix, actually. It was not pulled and it was not too twangy. It was really nicely, nicely placed. We'll her voice is, ah, oh, it's so velvety and her vibrato is slow and heavy. When you hear Morissette singing, you can immediately tell that it's her. Aladdin, let's go! Whole world, a whole new world might be uh, one of my most favorite songs from Disney. So oh, I'm excited. really nice belt from him he 
has like kind of two modes he either goes into his mix which is really nice and resonant but it does not have as much depth as his more chesty mixes his chesty mixes are beautiful it really brings out the tone quality of his tone of his voice the typical morissette squeak Her voice is like so angelic like look at or listen to her tone when she's really going into the deep belts and it's resonant and it's so substantial and then immediately like two seconds after that she can go into that really soft delicate space that she's in right now it's so soft that her voice is like trembling it's so cool oh. Uh, she is really the absolute peak. Looking out in the sky, wondering what it's like beyond the clouds. Beyond the clouds. She's a great storyteller. Like when she just starts this and introduce a new theme because um, they are not stopping between the songs, right? So the songs are intertwined and there is like this very smooth transition to the next song, right? But she's introducing the new music theme and she's doing it with such a grace and you are just glued to her. She's really telling the story. On the edge of the night, shadows of what we dream about. Oh, dream really beautiful about. riff. I do not know this song. I'm not sure if it's a new song or where it's from, but I, it's just building up to such excitement. <laughs> so, ah, uh, let's go. Oh, it's a Frozen too. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. Or it might be a mashup. Could you hear that restriction? It's just really beautiful how much she can work with her voice and also with the sound of her voice that she creates with the different kind of embellishments, right? So instead of opening that um, right into that yawny bigger space, she rather restricted it because she's just building up the atmosphere. She's not at the top of that song yet. So she's not giving all of her yet, but it's definitely to come. You know that. Star Wars 2 
It's beautiful that she has a very bare melody to work with. There's not much. She is a belter, right? Now she's a power belter. So literally, there's a huge, a huge passage of the song. She has just a very bare, simple melody to work with. And a lot of people would slide into very overcomplicated stylistic choices there, right? Because you have very little to work with. So a lot of people start to do too much. And she dosed it so perfectly, a couple of runs, a little riff here and there, but most of the focus was on how gorgeous her voice is. So very well done. Ooh, I love the bridge in here. It is so well placed. You thought that we're going into the finale of the song. I was just expecting the belt, 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 and belt, and then one really high note and done. And we're just getting to a freaking bridge only. Oh, snowdrop. There we go. good very good bass kind of build you're like oh here we are this is the this is the note that we're holding and she actually jumped from there and pushed it into the higher space and did a very quick rundown so she's not pushing to that upper turn to hold it for any longer time so she can afford to go do that really fast push and the rundown Such a gorgeous song. It, it filled the entire space, right? It was very open, nicely resonant, and she knew she doesn't have to add too much vibrato. She added that there, but much less than she usually does. So it was really spacious. It didn't close down too soon. And then on the head voice. really gorgeous outro beautiful i'm always really excited and kind of curious to see what voices they're gonna pair with morissette i have like my secret wishes okay i have a couple of like things that i really root for like i have like my couple of singers that i would love to see duet with morissette and um i might share them with you because i think that a lot of people would share you know my excitement from that particular duets but i think this duet was pretty good i did like their harmony i did like the balance in their voices and i mean this was a gorgeous finally more i said always gives us like the, the a grade type of the show like the highest class possible her singing is elegant, powerful, and I think she really shines in songs like this and Disney-esque songs. A lot of them are a little balladic, are grandiose, and uh, just they hit you with this emotion and full sound. And, and I think her voice is beautiful in there. She knows that <laughs> a lot of her personal, a lot of her personal songs are very similar to this. Uh, her stylistic kind of choices play very well in this style, so I think that, that this is just something that she thrives in. Thank you so much for recommending me this performance. If you have more performances that you would like me to see, please write them down in the comments. I do check them very regularly. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe right here. Here is the video that YouTube actually recommends for you. And here is the rest of my Filipino reactions. Please stay safe and healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.